All right, so it's still Sunday night, but this is gonna be a part of Monday's recording. Um, just sold Pokemon Pearl for DS. Uh, this, I wasn't gonna even pull it till tomorrow, but um, bulk shipping kind of messed me up and it printed a label for it. So I guess I'm gonna ship it today. Um, this was actually in a Mario Brothers DS box. I got it at a yard sale today. Um, <laughs> I was at first disappointed because it wasn't Mario in there, but then I saw it was Pokemon and I felt fine. Um, sold for $50, $49.99 in a few hours. So killer find there. And uh, yeah, cool. Hello, how's everyone doing? It is Monday and we've got a bunch of orders to ship and got a ton of orders. I mean, not a ton, but for Sunday to Monday, I think it's a lot. I think it's like 13 orders. Um, so we're going to pull those. I will say, um, I think I might not yard sale next weekend. I have so much stuff to list and this week is going to be another really busy week at work where I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time to list. And it's just, it's getting to be too much inventory that's not processed. So depending on how I do listing this week, I might end up actually skipping yard sales a weekend for next weekend, which will be pretty weird. I mean, I have enough footage to have a couple of like two weeks of videos. So I don't need to go uh, yard sailing for videos. I don't need it to do inventory. I have a ton of listings, a ton of inventory. So I might take next weekend off and uh, let some other people get all the loot. <laughs> oh, so I realized I, uh, <laughs> I probably should have mentioned this in last night's video, but it's possible that all those Toy to Life games have been growing in value for a while and I just haven't been paying attention. So if there is a bunch of comments on last night's video saying, uh, duh, NC Picker, those have been worth money for a while. Sorry, I just wasn't paying attention, but I still thought it was interesting. And I did sell one of the ones we listed, and I think we listed it for too cheap, maybe. The one we sold is here in the, this drawer, this top drawer. It's Disney Infinity 3.0. It's sealed. And, uh, I looked, so my wife listed this one, and I looked at the comps before I, she just drafted it. I looked at the comps before we went live, and she had it listed for, I think, 20, what did we list it for? $25.99, right? Plus shipping. And if you look at the solds, one is sold for $25.99, one is sold for like $20, and one is sold for $30. Um, so it seems about right if you look at the new comps. But then I went to the actives, and there's no one selling this on eBay. There's not a single person with it available. And I looked on Amazon, and it's selling for $60. So I think we could have gotten $45, maybe even $50 for it. Um, so that's definitely one to look out for. Uh, Disney Infinity 3.0. Yeah, so, and we shipped that other game last night, which was part of today's shipments, technically, the Pokemon Pearl for 50 bucks. Okay, and then we sold, uh, sold that TV I got last weekend with all my stereo equipment. I'm trying to make a spot here so I can put my ladder over there. Um, uh, this thing, I'm not surprised it sold, but, uh, kind of sad that it did, because now I gotta figure out how to ship it. <laughs> Uh, these are these are not impossible to ship. They're just tough Whenever I sell one, I'm like happy, but also sad Here it is Sylvania VHS Look at all the, uh, the crazy stuff in there. It's kind of crazy um, And it does work. I tested it, it works fine. So let me pull it down. Hold on Normally I'd price a TV like this a little bit higher uh, About 10 15 bucks more than I listed it for but I sold it pretty cheap because I didn't want it taking up space sold it for 70 bucks um, look at all that space I just cleared up. That's always a good thing. So <laughs> I was happy to get it out of here in a week and just uh, not waste space in the garage. I did sell another knife, which is good. It's actually a knife I think I was holding the other day. Let me go grab it. That's an R6. Most of my knives are in here. It's this uh, Fiskars fillet knife. The, the package is pretty beat up, but it is really old um, and sealed. So that one sold, and it sold for $20, $5.50 in shipping. So with the $13 one yesterday and the $20 one out today, that's $33 of my $125. Got a ways to go. I just went and grabbed Elijah, and uh, he wants to know why people buy stuff at night. He's just woke up pretty recently, and he's not ready to work. <laughs> Can't blame him, though. All right, so let's see what you sold, sir. You sold, uh, I think it's your books, if I can find it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Leapfrog, a lot of five books right there. You sold those. 
So these are the Leapfrog Tag Reader Interactive Books. He sold them for 12 bucks for five of them. So, yeah, pretty good. The only thing I sell in the past like five days are Leapfrog books. The things I didn't think would sell. Because you listed them. Things you list will sell. It's a good thing. So those are all hardcover, yeah. I mean, they definitely didn't have a lot of value individually when he looked them up. Oops. When he looked them up, but he figured uh, lot them together and sell them as a bundle. You have another order too. So once you get those out, I'll tell you what else he sold. Well, this is the last of my books, including Walter the Farting Dog. <laughs> Wait, did, did that sell separately? Walter the Farting Dog? Or is that in the bundle? I'm pretty sure it's in the bundle. I thought you listed that one separately. No, it wasn't worth while. Walter the Farting Dog. Let me take a look here. $3. Yeah, it's not in this bundle. Look. Oh, it's this bundle is Click, click, moo. Yeah, you just need a cow. Yeah. One yeah, one of the books is called Walter the Farting Dog, but that one I think you sold individually. All right, we found it. You sold the cassette, so if you want to pull out your cassettes, um, you can try to hunt this one down. Where did you Where put the It was in the... You put them in... It was in one of those bins. I think that, that one over there. It was in one of those, like, cassette cases. Yeah, I think it's in that one. So you sold the Pixies, and it's called Doolittle. It's brown, and it's got a dog on the front. Yeah, those are Elijah's two sales. Is that a monkey? Is it a monkey? Oh, it might be a monkey. Yeah. Here, bring it over. Is that a monkey or a dog? Let's get the audience like to weigh in. It's definitely a monkey. Oh, it's definitely a monkey? Oh, you're right, it's a monkey. Nice. For okay. Some... So that sold for $19.99 plus $2.89 shipping. Yeah. Yeah, so you sold the cassette for $20 and then the books for $12. So what's that? $32? Bucks? Yeah. Well, $32. Less than $30. Yeah, but whatever. Gross $32. And I also sold a cassette. And mine, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. It should be an L8. And let's see if we can pull it out quickly. These uh, these little cassette holders are nice, but they're not great for like quickly pulling orders at all. Um, it's also probably because I didn't label them all. <laughs> so self-inflicted. I think it's in here. Infectious grooves. Yeah, that's it. Um, the plague that makes your booty move. <laughs> that's an interesting title. Um, I guess that's a pretty decent plague if it makes your booty move all right and oops, yeah that's it this sold for i think eight dollars let's take a look here yeah 849 289 shipping i sold something that i bought quite a while ago very very slow turnaround like six month turnaround on this um and it didn't sell for much elijah's taping this is a uh dvr road dash video camcorder I bought this at a yard sale. I think I spent three to five dollars on it. I can't remember, maybe three. They also were selling some model cars and some Halloween costumes. I think I got a model car and sold that already. Um, this one sold for $18.99, $5.50 shipping, and it's like a, a road dash video camera, which I don't really know the point. I guess that's just to kind of see what happens if you get an accident or something. Well, I was just packing up his books in a record mailer. We'll see how that goes. I think it'll be okay really weird thing on YouTube this morning. I was trying to go to YouTube to look at a comment that I saw last night. <laughs> this is all I get. It's just a blank screen. Like no login or anything. Maybe something wrong with my cookies or something. I should try it on a different computer. Oh, I remember the comment. It was from SillySoft. And uh, SillySoft was asking why, not why, but it was just mentioning the uh, combo DVD VCR at one of these yard sales. Um, and asking why I didn't buy it. Yeah, and so with DVD VCR combos, they're worth buying to resell. But every now and then I just don't feel like carrying them and then listing them and testing them and packing them. They're a lot of work. And so, I don't know. <laughs> I buy them when I'm in the mood. Um, I know there's money to be made. Like I did buy that one recently. Um, so I, I will buy them. I know they're good. Um, I just hate packing them. So that's why I don't always pick them up. Uh, 
And they have to be really cheap for me to buy them too. Like I like five to ten dollars. I think the one that he was pointing out was fifteen at that sale, and I was like, eh, I don't really want to spend fifteen on it. Um, I probably could have talked them down though. They were nice. So next we sold a record, and it's gonna be in the E section. Oh, it's El Everly Brothers. That's E. Elvis. Electric Prunes. Elvin. Is this it? Nope. Where is it? Daz Band. It must be at the end here. There it is. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Ray includes a raise. Let's Groove. Wanna Be With You. I've Had Enough and My Love. So, yeah. That sold. And it sold for like nine bucks, I think. Yeah, $8.20, $2.89 in shipping. So I sold some books, and with the books, I got a message that I thought was kind of, uh, kind of a weird question. Like, it's not weird, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm curious what you guys would do. This person bought three books, and let me pull them first. Um, they're, they're these new manga books that I got, and, uh, right here, this frog one, and then, uh, two of these... B O S H I B O B O I S H I. I think that's an O. I don't know. What was it? There's three and two. I think he bought both of these. Um, let me just double check though. So, let's see. Yeah, volume. No, he bought volume. Uh, yeah, volume one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay, so he bought these three books and sent me a message and said, "Hey, could I comfortably get ten percent off for buying a few?" I don't know. Like. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. Would you do that? I don't want to do that. He already paid me. He already committed to that price. Um, not sure why I would go ahead and give him 10% off after the fact. I will do combined shipping because he paid shipping on each one of media mail shipping. So I'll put them all in one box and ship them together and then refund him for that. But I'm not going to refund him 10% just because he asked. So I just noticed a little more to this uh, buyer's message. They said, is Hunter 1 Hunter or Hunter X Hunter the first printing or not? Um, and I looked here, it is not the first printing. See, it says uh, first printing 2005, third printing 2013. They said uh, they want it to match all their other first printing. So I don't even know if they're still going to want it. I'm going to send a message to, oh, this is Mary. I'm going to send a message to Mary and ask her, if she still wants me to ship this, knowing that it's a 2013, or she wants to cancel that book out of the order. So I might not pack that one yet as I wait for a response. All right, so we already sold that figure I was showing you guys yesterday. It sold really fast, so maybe I priced it too cheap. This guy here, um, he's a beefy fella. I think he'll maybe fit in a 12 by 12 by eight. We'll see. Oh, there goes his weapon. I'll have to grab that in a minute. But yeah, so he sold, um, got him in that bin of uh, action figures over there that I've listed mostly good ones. I think those might be mostly junk and not worth anything. Um, so yeah, he sold for $39, $9.55 shipping. There was some solds closer to $50 and $60. Maybe I should have priced it a little higher, but I wanted it moved. Um, and it moved, so that's not a terrible thing. All right, so up next, we did sell a book and it's in R1 Han. This is a hardcover book, Stephen King. It's not old or anything, but I grabbed it. It's uh, Lizzie's story or Lizzie's story? It's probably Lizzie, right? Lizzie's story, Stephen King novel. Um, and that was sold for nine bucks, $8.99, 401 in shipping. So yeah, it's a little, little money. Didn't pay much, probably paid a dollar for it at the most. All right, so I just packed up those orders. Didn't pack up the books yet, but I packed up the orders. Today, you still have to go out. Um, I'm sweating and exhausted from packing up that TV. I did not have a good box for it, so I used the box that my air conditioning came in, but it's like super rigid cardboard, like really thick stuff, and it was very hard to get it to bend, even with the like box resizer tool. <sighs> I worked up a sweat, that's for sure. It took me like probably 20, 25 minutes to ship that one item. It does make you wonder if it was really worth the effort. I mean, the TV was free. It was a throw-in with my stereo stuff. I sold it for 70. Um, I haven't figured out how much shipping is gonna cost. I did do UPS, so it shouldn't be that bad, but, whew. 
Let me see. Let me look how much it costs. Okay, so the buyer paid $45 to ship it. It cost me $30 to ship it. He must, I guess they charge retail ground to the buyer. Um, you know, so let's think about it for a minute. All right, so after eBay fees, I basically got 100 bucks out of the deal, including shipping, right? Yeah, 100 bucks out of the deal. And then it's gonna cost me 30 to ship it. So 70 bucks is the amount I see. Um, and it took me probably about an hour to list, test, and pack it. And uh, I guess it's worth 70 bucks an hour, but man, it was miserable work. <laughs> so maybe I'll keep buying them. I just, I mean, what if I didn't have that box? I don't know what I was gonna do. I was kind of stressing for a little bit there because I couldn't figure out what to ship it in. Um, so it, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the headache, but maybe it is because it is 70 bucks for an hour's worth of work, but yeah. Anyways, it's going out, so huh. that's gonna be the end of this video. I need to go take a shower from all the sweat that that conjured up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you next time.